Don't cry. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Oh, poor dear. Hello everybody. Bridge building time. I'm gonna get a workout. I gotta move all that on top of that. I've already started. And hopefully I'll uh, be able to at least walk across it by the end of today. Yeah. So I just wanna say thank you and a big shout out to my daughter, Mika, who's uh, giving me a hand today with recording because I need all my hands in order to move these rough cut three by sixes. Some of them are a lot heavier than others. Uh, this one is wet. And it is a good workout for sure. Like wait. In the wise words of Ronnie Coleman, nothing but a peanut. I was going to bring another one, but I think I'm just going to go one at a time. I bought a bag of, or a box of eight-inch nails, which are oh so fun to pound into the wet rough cut three by six. I think I probably could use a better hammer, but, uh, I didn't have a ball peen hammer. Thanks, mom. Appreciate you lending slash giving me your hammer. <laughs> All right. Lego. <laughs> So I talked to a farmer friend of mine and he basically said that uh, I can go minimum two inches, maximum four inch gap between each board. Idea being that when there's snow, the snow will just go through so there will be, there should be very little accumulation. When I'm going over the bridge with the tractor or quad or whatever, um, the snow will just sort of fall between the cracks. So I'm using a actual four inch by four inch block here. So I place them at so I'm only putting one nail per, per end and then we'll see if, you know if there's any mistakes. I'm not using I'm not using any sort of string to guide me along here. I'm just eyeballing it without my glasses. But so far so good. trivial to pound in, let me tell you. <laughs> Come on. Arms getting tired.
So this is going to be a pretty productive day, I think. The bridge is built. So now I just have to put some sand and build a ramp with some logs. Do the same on the other side over there. And I can cross. So today we're going to hammer some nails in this bridge. I need to f make sure I fasten and secure, or not fasten, just secure, I guess fasten. Anyway, I'm going to put a pile of nails into this bridge. These nails are no joke. I've got uh, some 10 inch and eight inch nails. I think I'm going to go with the 10s for the, for the sides here on both sides. And then uh, the middle log. And then uh, I'm gonna go with eight inch nails for the rest of the boards. That might be overkill, but I wanna make sure that uh, they, stay, they stay put. So.
going to try it again. So I ended up uh, finishing the other side of the bridge today. I put some dirt down. I have to put a lot of dirt. Uh, it's very mushy on the other side. Uh, but I got a good line to uh, join the other side of my trail. So New Year's Eve tomorrow, but I'm going to be out there early in the morning, probably doing the driveway, uh, and then my neighbor's driveway, and then my access road driveway. And after that, uh, I'll get back to work at moving some soil and uh, hopefully start cutting some trees and joining both ends of that trail. But in the meantime, scotch time. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe, click the notification bell, and uh, like this video. Take care, everybody. Happy New Year.